We are She's now rolling. Like Dunn broke her hip. Dunn. Going upstairs. Where she was pushed. So. That was, okay, that was so what we're going to be doing, up. this is going to be unilateral hip. So I'm not, I'm going to pretend like I've already got my pelvis taken care of because generally when you get an order for a hip, you get an order for a pelvis to go with it. Mm. So let's pretend like I already got our um, pelvis x-ray. Now I'm just going to do some cone down views of this right hip. So, Mr. Evan, if you wouldn't mind, hand me a smaller film. Thank you. Yes, sir. 10 by 12 is plenty. Of course, if you're using DR, it doesn't really matter. You're just going to be using the plate. But that doesn't mean you can't cone down some. All right. Bring on the tube. All right. Good deal. Put this thing in detent. Right there it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and cone down some because I know I don't need that much. Okay, what are we trying to shoot on this x-ray? What do we want to have on our picture? Your We're supposed joint. to be looking at the patient's hip joint. Hip, exactly, the patient's hip joint, the acetabulum, and including, um, you know, the proximal femur. So the acetabulum right? is what the femoral hip articulates in? Ding, 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 okay. exactly. The acetabulum is that cup shape that the femoral head fits into. The acetabulum is actually composed of three separate bones that are welded together right there um, using mm -hmm. synarthrotic joints. Can y'all name those bones? Uh, ischium, ilium, and the pubis. pubis. Very good. Ischium, ilium, and pubis. E yes. So when you add them all together, there's really six bones that make up the pelvis, not including the sacrum. Okay, yeah. so. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this thing down to a 40-inch SID, roughly. All right, now, where do I position my patient? Well, what I've got to do is I've got to locate the patient's ASIS, which is right here, and then the patient's pubic symphysis, which is right about there. I'm not going to grab it. And what I'm going to do is draw an imaginary line between the symphysis and the, um, and the asis, and then I'm going to come down about two and a half inches from that. Okay, so if I had like a little protractor, you would be able to see it better. So right about here is going to be my aiming point. Okay, now I'm going to straighten out this lady's leg a little bit, and I'm also going to turn her uh, foot in. Remember, same thing as before. We just don't want to have any foreshortening on the neck of the femur, right? So turning her toe in like this is going to help me a bunch. I'm going to open up a little bit more. I'm going to open up the film size. Okay, if the, if the edge of your light field medially is about on the mid-sagittal plane, then that's good. It's perfect. Okay, now, can I double check? What if my patient is too big and I can't find any landmarks? Okay, well, all is not lost. What I can do is I can bend this patient's knee up, Okay, and then right there is where her uh, hip joint is going to be. Right? Okay, ma'am, just relax it back down. Okay, so good. I'm right on it. Perfect. Okay, super. So here we go. Um, marker. I'm going to put my right marker on. Um, shielding. I can put a shield on her breastuses. And thyroid. Just like that. And now I'm good to go. Okay, so there we go. This is AP unilateral hip. Okay, now, for our next thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very used to getting any praise. So that's, that's really nice. Okay, now, next thing I need to do is a frog leg hip. Okay, so what I'm going to, this is going to be a lateral view of the femoral neck. And so what I'm going to do, same kind of thing we did before with the bilateral, I'm just going to get her, I'm going to bend her knee up 45 degrees. I'm going to let it fall out about 45 degrees. Once again, I've got my little light pointing down towards me. Okay, so that's good. That's a good position right there. Ma'am, are you able to hold that position for me? Okay, hold still. Beep. Okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you all about this is, oh yeah, some of my co-workers, they do this. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't really see any benefit in it, so I just leave my box like that. Okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I guess, you can relax, I guess if this was a male patient 
and I turn my collimator, maybe you could argue that, okay, whoa. You could argue that turning the collimator allows you to exclude um, the gonads, and it kind of mm. does. Okay, so that might be a, a reason for doing that. Radiographically, though, there's really not one. Okay, cool. All right, so that was AP and frog lateral hip. Y'all are all going to be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, super. Excellent. Ms. Laney, you're the tech.